What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Sims. So it's been a while since I've really played this game, but uh, I have some ideas on how to return to it. So today we're starting a totally new game, and uh, we're going to be playing as Buddy Bolko, the lovely CEO of Bolko. Now isn't that a face you just, you just trust? I know I don't. <laughs> So I already went through and made him, just because I wanted to save the time there, but his goal is to be fabulously wealthy. Uh, he's self-assured, materialistic, and self-absorbed. So uh, I'm sure he's just gonna be a joy to be around. <laughs> he does seem kind of lonely here, just by himself though. Let's give him a cat. This one's <laughs> this one's just a raccoon. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it is anymore, but it's huge. <laughs> he's probably gonna wander around quite a bit, so uh, I figure we may as well just get some marketing here. <laughs> that didn't work well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Beautiful. We just won't look at him from that side. <laughs> Alright, so the plan for today is to uh, go buy the Bolko and then uh, get it running and then possibly start stealing stuff to sell back to people because that seems like the best way to, you know, run a business. I'm thinking maybe urns. If I steal an urn and put it on the shelf, if the family walks by it, they're just going to be obligated to buy it because nobody wants to leave grandma on a shelf at Bolko. I can charge absolutely whatever I want. It's the perfect business plan. So first off, one of the things that I think got old fast with the last series was just being broke. Now, I'm not just going to endlessly give myself money in this series, but I'm going to give myself a small loan of a million dollars to start with. Okay, move household. We're going to go buy a really nice house, and then we're just going to ruin everyone else's and just watch from our ivory tower. Oh, this is nice. It's got a nice mansion. It's got a pool, and it's only $192,000. That's only uh, like a fifth of our... Fifth of th 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 that's only like a fifth of our wealth. Perfect. Look at this wonderful house. Uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger from the picture, but, uh, you know what? It's all right. What's the first thing he's going to do in his new mansion? Cook eggs and toast. Stop making eggs and toast. You're fine. We have business to attend to. So we are going to go buy our first Bolko. Oh yeah. Just look at that. It's magnificent. $20,000. We don't want to give them too much of our money. <laughs> I mean, I do own the place, but like, still, it's my money. <laughs> so yeah, uh, welcome to Bolko, our lovely new business enterprise. <laughs> plenty of, plenty of advertising surrounding the place, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew it was a Bolko, that's why there's a sign for it every, like, 10 feet. Some lovely advertising here, you know, you can get, uh, two hours shipping with Bolko Primo. Uh, you can watch all your movies now with Bulk Flicks, and, uh, if you're going on a vacation, <laughs> Bolko Airlines. <laughs> Look, this guy's already interested in bulk flicks. He's literally looking up on his phone. That's how interested he is. See, marketing works. All right, now inside the bulko, it's uh, it's a bit chaotic in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like manually mark each one of these items as sellable, which is gonna take me a nightmarish amount of time. But uh, we'll get through it. We have our uh, electronic section over here. We have a, a, a dance floor room. We have our uh, food and such. Obviously, we have a boat right in the middle of it, and then uh, here's our clothing section. It's a little, it's a little barren, and then our lovely checkout up in the front with a tiny little token bathroom, just so people don't quit. And then uh, up this staircase here, we have uh, his own little, <laughs> his own little relaxing area where he can just chillax during the workday while all of his, uh, all of the peasants operate the store. So first things first, this is this is locked for everyone but Buddy. That is the Buddy Bolko zone back there. <laughs> he looks like he was enjoying it. Honestly, this store, like, actually really came together, <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Okay, first thing we need to do, we need to hire some people. So, uh, uh, who should we hire? They all want, like, 30 simoleons and- well, you're definitely not getting hired. I don't care if you're experienced. Let's see, you're the best person for the price, so you're hired. Oh my gosh, this is- this is fantastic. Look at this. Everything about this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so, uh, at the moment, I think there's one item in this whole store for sale. So, uh, do we have a celebrity in the store? Oh, we have a B-lister. I'm not interested. Alright, so I set everything in the store for sale, and then while I was at it, I went over here and I changed uh, a little bit of this back room here. So now we have a Bolko Club signature on display. Isn't that neat? I mean, it's not the actual car, but it, it looks remarkably like it. So I, I, f I figured we could let that slide. So yeah, the main thing I wanted to do today was get the store up and running. And uh, it, it seems to be up and running. Everything's for sale. People are, uh, are uh, perusing the shelves over here. Alright, so far, items sold, zero, revenue, zero, <laughs> wages, negative 80, 
Okay, I think we're off to a good start. Been open for two hours and we still haven't made a sale because for some reason everyone's just sitting in this lamp aisle just having a conversation. Do shopping or get off my property. Uh, how do you get more employees? Uh, I've never actually run a store before. Uh, oh, we need uh, perk points. Well, we are not quite there yet. Oh boy. Did you just make the sale on your iPad? This store is way more advanced than I thought it was. Day one, someone bought a stove at Bolko. Oh, this is fantastic. We gotta see what what items are uh, what items are gonna fly off the shelf here. So far, uh, a stove and a children's violin. That wasn't particularly what I expected. Oh wait, we don't have any fish in there. We have to buy fish. Uh, fully stock it. Oh, that's neat. Can we sell the fish now? So uh, yeah, pretty much everything in here is for sale. You can buy this boat. Uh, I have no idea how much that costs. You can buy the couches, uh, you can buy the TVs, you can buy a treadmill, you can buy a pile of clothes if that's something you're into. This is Bolko, we got it all. And look, he's just so happily just talking to his customers, like, please spend all your money here, we'll gladly accept it. <laughs> he is just so into sleeping, goodness, no, go downstairs, uh, interact with the customers. They eyed up a product, you just need to go over and say, can I help you? And then whatever their answer is, don't believe them. Uh, they definitely want your help. Heartfelt compliment. We're, we're, we're turning this in from a customer help to just just flirting. Where the heck even is he? He keeps trying to go to bed. Stop trying to sleep. You have a business to run. It's three in the morning. Okay, wait, you know what? Why are we open? How long have we been open now? Seven hours. So our grand opening was at what? Like seven o'clock? Eight o'clock? Oh, that was a bad move. All the other businesses closed. They're like, grand opening. <laughs> Everyone come to Bulco. <laughs> okay, so I know we've sold some stuff, but I don't... I don't know what. Uh, I know we sold uh, one stove. Uh, we sold the violin. Uh, but what else did we buy? Oh, is she gonna buy one of these game consoles? S sell it. Uh, where's my employee? Where the- what are you doing? <laughs> are you already complaining about your schedule? It's only four in the morning. Get to work. No, stop playing darts. That's not for you. That's for the customers. We like to give our customers sharp things to throw around other customers. <laughs> it just seemed like a smart choice. You literally have a customer waiting and you're just playing. She's getting mad. She's gonna not sell this. Okay, dude, just wake up. Go- Go, go make this sale. Your employees are, are, are terrible. He just struts across the store. Ah, I, I sense from upstairs that you were looking to buy a product. Did we just lose the sale right there? Are you kidding? Oh my, get to work. You know what? This was supposed to be fun, but clearly we can't have fun things because the employees can't handle them. Get back to work. I think we're about to lose like 25 different sales. Okay, go make this sale. We're understaffed. It's not my fault. <laughs> I have the money. I'm just not allowed to hire people. It's, it's a government thing. Did we lose that sale too? Oh, this business is falling apart. Okay, we've got, we've got a customer. We've got a customer. Employee. Employee. Come ring up the customer. Did she, did she go home? Oh no. <laughs> I can't be responsible for this whole store. <laughs> She neglected like half the customers and then just left. This is not what we're paying you for. Okay, I don't know what it is. We just we just sold a quill pen for a thousand dollars. Only Bolko can get someone to buy a quill pen for a thousand dollars. Stop trying to go to bed. Do you do anything but sleep? Okay, I I see that you actually are kind of hungry, but ah, violin. Uh, go sell the violin. Where's this music coming from? Oh, up there. Oh, those aren't set for sale. Turn that off. I actually don't like listening to music. Let's set the bottom ones for sale, though. Maybe maybe somebody will buy them. Oh! I know you. Uh, add to family. You're gonna be my hitman. Or, or, or hit woman, I guess. But yeah, you still got more murders to do. And uh, I'm gonna put you to work in the store for the time being. <laughs> she just saw Bolko was here and uh, just had to come and check it out. Just please... Do not murder the customers. The funny thing is, is that I was planning on going and collecting some other characters from the old series eventually, but she just happened to walk right in. <laughs> I couldn't let the opportunity pass. Or, oh, he's gonna buy the foosball table. That's gonna be worth a mint. All right, what's going on? Uh, She's inspired, which is good because I think I'm gonna set her back to work painting again because she... <laughs> She was doing pretty good at that. Uh, she's, she's borderline getting famous off of it, actually. Yeah, look, see, she has an atrocious reputation, but she is a notable newcomer. <laughs> you know, honestly, though, how did she end up here? I think the last time that we saw her, 
left her on an island. Did she just swim the whole way? Actually, you know what? I think that I made her into a mermaid uh, on accident. Yeah, hydration. Yeah, uh, I accidentally made her a mermaid. I feel like she'd more likely be a vampire, but uh, yeah, she's accidentally a mermaid. I might need to fix that. All right, well, interestingly, they're getting along better than uh, any of the ones in the last series did. It's probably because he's self-absorbed, materialistic, and self-assured. And, uh, meanwhile, she's, uh, she's a serial killer, so I'd say she's pretty self-absorbed. Yo, buddy, what are you doing, dude? There's a talent showcase going down at the lounge. Let's embarrass ourselves? Who the heck is Penny Bassaz? I, I have no idea, but alright, I'll go. I'm sure Annie can run the store. More particularly, I'm sure she'll have absolutely no problems with him just leaving unannounced. <laughs> the talent showcase is upon us. Prepare to be entertained by some local talent. Oh, I am ready to entertain. Where's the bar? How do, how, how do you sign up? Oh, jeez. Dude, this is not the time to be swimming. He's not even bothered by it. He's just like, yup. <laughs> it's the risk of swimming. Please don't tell me he's tired. Oh my gosh. Does he do anything but sleep? Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> he's like, you too? <laughs> Just get inside. Okay, it's time for open mic. <laughs> Look at all these people. Do I know her? Oh, I do. Oh, she's the one that invited me. That's who you are. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go flirt with celebrities while I guess I'm technically on a date. Ask if single, but just do it from right here. Just be like, uh, just tap her on the shoulder and then just say, hey, you single? He's very uncomfortable. Oh, she came to him. That worked well for you. Oh, she is single. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's start, let's get to work. Compliment mighty fine garb. Ha, huh, it's a good thing it's pirate day. <laughs> this is just how I normally talk, but she'll never know. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've kind of redeemed that conversation a little bit, but she still just got up and left. Uh, maybe I'll impress her with my music. But he is far too uncomfortable to do this. Oh no, he is kind of, kind of tired. Go sleep it out in the couch. This is what we came to see. This is terrible. Can we, like, just get Annie here? Because she's actually awake. <laughs> Buddy does nothing but sleep. The talent showcase is finished. I'm still sleeping for my set. Can you guys all come back? <laughs> Everybody's left, dude. Literally everyone is gone. They ended the showcase early because you wouldn't get off the stage. Ooh, Harvest Fest is coming up. That'll be exciting. But you know what comes after Harvest Fest? Bolko Friday. Everyone must give gifts, because they have to come and buy them from Bolko. And uh, attend a holiday ceremony. And also drinking, because why not? It's almost Bolko Friday. How, how, how wonderful. We all look forward to that holiday. I know I do. Okay, so I made her a new outfit. I figure if she's gonna work here, she may as well look the part. Why is everybody looking at her? Is it because of her reputation? It's probably- <laughs> she's already self-conscious. <laughs> okay, I don't think that that outfit's gonna stick. Oh, we're so close! These sales will do it! These sales have gotta do it. Excellent, thank you for your purchase. Now, uh, yes, we're there. You are the last customer for today. I hope- I hope this makes you feel good. Ah, wonderful. Oh, look, Vlad came back! Uh, just in time to get kicked out. Dude, store's closed. Get out. Thank you. The store is actually- actually doing pretty well. We've actually had a pretty good sales sales bit here. Uh, I don't know what exactly we all sold. I know we sold all the magazine racks. We sold all the game consoles. One of the penguin TVs it looks like. I think there was a radio there. Coffee tables sold well. Oh yeah, we sold a couple appliances. All in all, I'd say this is a pretty good, pretty good business day. Okay, well maybe like four business days. We were hoping for quite a while. Alright, well I'm gonna end this episode here guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, I'm, I'm excited to expand Bolko across the entirety of the world. There's so many opportunities. We can open a, a restaurant, a vet, also have a little more fun with our sims. I, I, think, I think these two together are a good pair to cause some major havoc to the world. Also, <laughs> I totally forgot we had a pet. That's gonna need some care. <laughs> I don't even think there's a water bowl in the house, so we're probably gonna need to go check on the cat. Or I mean raccoon. Whatever that thing is. But yeah, anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.